Hey Luke, this is Carp. I'm just here to... I messed something up. I'm just here to... Talk about luncheon. Things I noticed, things you can improve on. First, I do want to say... This is literally one of the best custom tracks that has ever been created. I think once all the lighting and stuff is added in... And a few fixes here and there, I think it could be a contender for the literal best custom track of all time. So, thank you for making this absolute beauty. Um, I just it's recording properly. Yes, it is. Uh, so the first thing I think Troy talked about it in the video he uploaded. That part right there. Uh. There should be something here instead of just dropping you off like that. There should be something. I'm thinking like I don't know, some table thing with the fork dude behind him. I think would be pretty cool right there. Maybe arrows. I think Troy just said arrows, right? Like a fork arrow. Anything just something should be here so that people don't fall off and then die. To this part right here uh he also said this in his video this path everything over here this part i'm standing on right now from this area past all the way to when i exited over here all the way to off of that that should all be offered all of it should be light offer not the heavy offer that's whoops not this heavy off-road over here. It should be a lighter off-road. And then the heavy off-road over there should have an item box on it if it doesn't already. I haven't checked the item boxes. Uh, this this shortcut you did perfectly. I love the shortcut a lot. Just being able to go up there like that. Uh, nothing really happens here. There's... Okay. If you look closely when I make this turn right here, exiting this ramp... I like to stick to the wall here, and I don't know if there's some way to uh, speed slower. That uh, didn't come any slower. <laughs> uh, playback speed slower. Speed slower even. I stick to the wall. It doesn't let me go over there, and that'll be more apparent. Uh, on lap two when it happens. This is just some kind of weird thing. I'll explain the freezing thing in a second. This path right here, everyone should be forced to take this path. Unless they have a shroom or something, because it's so good. It's such a good path. Uh, this... I... This is probably just a me thing, but I think there could be more detail in this whole... Like, it kind of looks empty. It looks like it's just a platform in the middle of nowhere. There could be more detail here, and in the center. I don't know what you could put there. Maybe some poodaboos. I think that's what they're called. The lava things that are normally on the luncheon course that you take over. Uh, they should definitely be around in places. I think putting some over here would be cool. They have them jump across if that's even possible. Uh, there definitely should be a little bit more detail. At least something over there, just so it's not totally bland. This just feels... This turn feels kind of bland sometimes. Uh, also, with this, the only complaint I have about this shortcut is when you're going forward and you don't shroom here, you kind of just die unless you aim for this mushroom. And even if you aim for this mushroom, there's like a 50% chance you fall over there or miss anyways or mess up somehow. If you don't drift off the mushroom, you're screwed. That's pro also probably just a me thing. Also, these, I love the rolling fruits. Uh, the hitbox is very deceptive. I'm assuming there's nothing you can do about that. I just wanted you to know, in case you weren't aware of that already. You can go straight through. You can go through closer. I just didn't. Right there. I didn't get close enough. Um, what else? Here's the stick. Watch this. I do not, at any point go past this like draw an invisible line from this distance from the wall out per or parallel to this wall i don't go past that area at all until i'm off of this Oops. 
That's a big, it's a, especially a problem if people are going for the shortcut over here, the lap three ender shortcut, because you want to go wide for that at the beginning. I think the same thing happens over on this side as well, but I'm not sure, because I mean, <laughs> I'm never over on that side. But on this side, you definitely stick there. Uh, probably something with the KCL. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not a custom track creator. This is just me ranting about what you could do to make it even better than it already is. But, uh, yeah, it sticks there. It shouldn't stick there, obviously. That's a problem you should fix. Also, I don't know how doable this is. I don't know how this works. But if you could make this like actual lava instead of just like one of the quicksand or whatever whatever that dying in the abyss thing is there i think this should be actual lava instead that'd be way you know aesthetically better for the track um what else this is just me messing around this area here uh to begin with I don't think there should be a death plane right here, just personally. It's not like anyone's gonna get in there by accident and not know how to get out of that like little area there. I think that shouldn't be a death plane, that's just me though. This pepper should be removed, definitely, because first of all you can go past the fence. I don't think you're supposed to be able to go over here, but I got over here. Back through the fence. Uh, you can also, whoops, get back to where it was. You can also, if you go up the stem part right here, you actually get like ten times that air. It's a bit nuts. That is, that pepper just kind of is in the way of things. Uh, I love doing this trick. It's great. Uh, this. This area here, when you trick off of, when you trick off of this here and try to go onto the mushrooms, one there are like three different things that can happen, and two of them just kill you. This is one of them. You trick it, and then you trick it again, and then you just go way over, and I go backwards here just to show the second one. The second one is you kind of do this, I don't know exactly how it works. But you like bounce here and you just die. You can't like, you don't even have the opportunity to do anything about it. You just sort of get killed. I'm assuming you're not supposed to trick that. Obviously not tricking it lets you make it better. If that's intentional, then keep it how it is. But I think you should be able to live it if you trick, you know? I think it's kind of dumb. I'm doing this slow trick as well. This slow trick's super fun. Uh, I think that's mostly everything. Oh, the salt. The salt. Um, <laughs> I think you have it as like heaviest offered, uh, if I remember correctly. I don't know if this is right or not, but they're like light offered, medium offered, heavy offered. Uh, it shouldn't be that punishing. Someone's calling. I'm gonna ignore that. Sorry if that picks up, the phone's ringing. Uh, it shouldn't be... It should be medium, it shouldn't be this punishing. Going over that little already makes me go... The speedometer in the corner here on the millisecond timer. It shoots down way too hard, it shouldn't... Be that punishing. Definitely should be punishing if... Maybe make like the middle of this heavy, if that's possible even. And then the outside's medium. Joseph doesn't absolutely kill you for just trying to go over this corner properly. And yeah, the short this shortcut's really great, but again, as it was shown on back here, sometimes if you try to go for it, it does this and it's kinda weird. So the Basically fix this immediately. This is a major fix. Add some lighting, add a bit more decorations over like Make this part off-road. Item box here if there isn't one already, and no item boxes back here. If I don't. I haven't checked the item boxes, so that might already be a thing. 
Uh, make the lava actual lava. Put some stuff over this area. Something in the middle here. Add poodaboos literally anywhere. Everywhere you can. Uh, if it's possible, either increase the hitbox or decrease the visual model of the rolling fruit so you don't go through it like that. That just kind of looks weird. I think it's a little bit better if you're clipped by like the very the very corner of the invisibility like if this was a sphere and you got clipped by somewhere in this inward part here I think that's totally understandable because you were like right next to it anyways but being able to go through it like that's a bit whack if you can fix that then do it uh, I would love this area this whole that whole like from here through this entire area after that trick absolutely perfect just ma just a masterpiece of custom tracks really uh here's this lava and i think with all that and visual like finishing the visuals i think this has potential to be one of the best custom tracks ever created so thank you for creating this and I hope to see it. Uh, it'll definitely get in CTGP once it's done. There's no question about that. I hope it stays in the custom tracks for as long as custom tracks are around. Because this is this is just a masterpiece. Completely. That's all I really have to say. Peace, dude.